They claim he was shot and killed him by mistake. Now the family of the young man gunned down by U.S. Marshals over the weekend are speaking out and they have already hired a high-powered attorney. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt. Dean Jessica, Edgar Camacho Alvarado's parents were emotional this afternoon. We met with the couple and their attorneys as they demand answers from the federal government. So far that has been completely stonewalled um, in terms of even what happened early Saturday morning. Now what we do know is that the U.S. Marshals were at this West Central trailer park in the early morning hours on Saturday. Marshals were looking for a murder suspect, George Bond, but it's 23-year-old Edgar Camacho Alvarado who ended up dead, shot by a deputy U.S. Marshal before the sun came up. His family's attorneys tell us today authorities were at the wrong trailer that morning and even showed us a search warrant signed by a judge for trailer number 26, where Alvarado lived with his family. Bond was in trailer 29, more than 100 feet away. State police are investigating the shooting, but they have not given details about what led to Alvarado's death, except to say marshals had a, quote, confrontation with Alvarado. The family has not said if Alvarado had a weapon or not, but they say Alvarado was shot four times. We feel powerless with these people. They almost kill us, all of us. They pointing guns on my wife, me and my kids. Now, Alvarado's attorneys say they've learned from eyewitnesses that Alvarado was dragged by federal agents from his home after he'd been shot in the back, then shot again outside execution style after authorities shouted commands at him. Now, since the family is not getting answers, they've sent a records request to the U.S. Attorney's Office about this case. We'll have much more on this story tonight at 10. Back to you. All right, Gabrielle, thank you. Alvarado's attorneys say they will hold weekly updates on this case until they get answers.